Good morning, everybody. Hello. This is the start of day three. Yep. Hola. Hola. This is Ensenada day. See, mm -hmm. that's why I'm wearing my, my Los Dodgers. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing just green. That's one of the colors of Mexico, babe. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. 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 So we're going to catch a quick bite for breakfast at the Blue yes. Iguana, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you said it's a Mexican place, right? Yeah, on the ship. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try that out. And then and we're going to go inside the town and do our lunch there instead. And on this trip, mm -hmm. we decided not to do any excursions because we really want to check out the boat on just on this trip. Probably the next trip, we we'll probably do something later. Yeah, there'll be plenty of do in Ensenada. Yeah. Uh, hopefully our favorite taco lady will be there. And hopefully we'll check it out and yeah. see. And then maybe some beers. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see where we, where our, where our adventures take us. Okay, sounds good to me. I'm gonna get a burrito, babe. Okay, baby. They'll make it for you right here. I got an arepa, which is this right here. It's like a little, it reminds me of a sope, and they have cheese in it. So it's like a thick tortilla? Is that what yeah, it's like a little bit thicker tortilla. I know they put beans in here sometimes, sometimes meat. But this one just has cheese in it, which is fine. I'm gonna try it with the cheese, but I'm gonna eat them separately. And then I got a huevos rancheros. So with two eggs over easy. So I'm going to get a little bit of that meat from that huevos ranchero, or from the ranchero. Chicken. What is that? Chicken. Chicken. Hit it up with a little bit of lime. So all the eggs are made to order here as well. The eggs are made to order. The arepas are already coming with the cheese and all of the salsas, like I have a corn and black bean salsa and I also have a watermelon salsa, they're all on the side. So we're going to try this. Mm. The chicken is very mild. This arepa, I believe it's corn based. Crispy on the outside. Cheesy in the end time. Tap but sweet. <coughs> Remind me of a... Hmm. Not like a cornbread. A really thick corn tortilla. It's gonna match with my salsas or anything that I put on it. Here's my budo that I got right here. My little breakfast one. So I add the chicken chicken sausage and ham, some salsa, a little bit of cheese, and that um, scrambled egg that has some bell peppers and onions in it. So I got some uh, roasted tomato salsa here, some crema fresca, and some chipotle from, um, what's that, salsa? Cholula. Yeah, yeah, some ch Cholula. Oh, triple spread, babe. Oh yeah, look at that. It's pretty good. This is a pretty tasty breakfast burrito. It's a big one. Yeah. <clears throat> it tastes really good with the uh, with the roasted tomato salsa here. And as you saw, there's so many different kinds of uh, salsas and toppings you could put on. Well, yeah, this will do it. And they even have some, um, they call it pan juice, with the uh, guava, pineapple, orange juice comes out of the, uh, the dispensing machine. So get as much as you want. It's pretty good. This is the huevos rancheros. The tortillas are made fresh. This is gonna be an awesome bite. Hit it up with a little bit of lime. There. The flavors are all there. I'm gonna taste them. The seasoning of that chicken is good. That fresh tortilla. That corn and black bean salsa. It's yummy. Everything I got here is non-spicy. So the sauces and everything kick it up. I have a spice level you want.
We just got off the ship. We did. On the, uh, what, left side now? Yeah, okay. Yeah, on the left port side, so I was mistaken. I thought you yeah. only exit off the, on the right, uh, mm -hmm. the starboard side. But yeah, for, new to me. Mm -hmm. So they do have some gangways that we just walked off. Right. Now right. we're going to head to town. Yep, and in Ensenada, the masking is indoors and outdoors. So yeah, that's what the sign says inside the ship, but we'll see right. how it is in the city. Mm -hmm. All right, I wanted to answer a few questions. Uh, one question was, they thought we'd get 15 drinks for the whole cruise for 500 bucks. No, 15 drinks per person. It was for both of us. 15 drinks per person per day for 500 bucks. And there was a reason why it was 500 bucks because this is a four day cruise. So it's a little bit over 50 bucks a person. So if you drink uh, specialty cocktails are over 10 bucks a uh, drink, five drinks, you already got your money back. That's what the perk of the cheers package is. Yeah, so that price was for two people. Right. And um, what was another question? Oh, uh, another question we did test at CVS. We got our results within a few hours. Uh, we printed it out because they gave us a PDF copy and we attached it to our boarding pass. Yeah, that was that, another one. That, that's all we needed was our passport yeah. and the negative test result. Yep, that's and all we needed. Two days out, meaning that we got our test done on Saturday and our cruise was leaving on Monday. That's right. So that's two days out. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not it's not on a twenty four hour clock. It's, right. it's by by days. By days. Right. Um, was there another question that we had? Since this is real time, I'm trying to remember the questions that were coming through on either Facebook or on uh, YouTube of things that we had to yeah. answer. But this uh, is the first day that mm -hmm. Ensenada is open to cruise people. Uh, I, I believe so, at least yeah. for Carnival. Yeah, for Carnival. This is the first ship from Carnival here in Ensenada. Yeah. It's warm, it's getting warm right now. Yeah, yeah. and there is a Holland America parked next to us. Yeah, there is. So option, instead of walking into town from where the ship is. Mm -hmm. There's a shuttle. It is four dollars a person for USD. For USD round trip, mm -hmm. so they gave us a little ticket. Mm -hmm. We get the ticket when we're back on the shuttle, and the shuttle runs every ten minutes or so. Look at my mask. There you go. Ticket runs every ten minutes or so, or the shuttle runs every ten minutes or so. So you get the don't lose the ticket because this is how you come back to the ship. Yeah. We're a little lazy today. Normally we'd walk. Yeah, right. so, you know, worst case scenario, if you lose the ticket, you're looking at a 15-minute walk back. Yeah. We made it to the streets of Ensenada. We did. Update. From the people who live here in Ensenada, it's uh, masking is indoors only. Yeah. Um, when you sit down at a restaurant, once you sit at, you mask when you go in. Once you sit at the table, you can take it off. Yeah, that's so, pretty much at home. That's pretty much almost everywhere. Yeah. Just about. This OXXO, mm -hmm. just like a 7-Eleven. Yeah, it is. So it's a good place to go in there and... Uh, Water. Yeah, just pay with your US dollars and ask for change in pesos if you mm -hmm. want pesos. Right, exactly. And what you see the prices on there, it says 22, it's 22 pesos, not US dollars. Yeah, it's yeah. Pesos. Everything is pesos here yeah, once you're in Mexico. Everything is pesos. Mm -hmm. We've arrived at El Charro. El mm -hmm. uh, Charro, it is address 454. This is one of our favorite spots. The food is so good, so authentic. Yes. And they do, they do the Hello. roast chicken. Let's see what he has. Hello. Oh, we're good, thank you. Yeah, they have the roast chicken. They do. Yeah, it's really good. So let's go in there and eat some lunch. Okay. Oh, and an update. Ensenada, it's very vibrant. There are tons of vendors out. Uh, there's a lot of people walking around. I don't know if it's because of cruise ship or people are just visiting Ensenada. Um, a lot of those stores have changed. There are a lot of the stores that are filled, but they're different vendors from what we remember, huh, baby? Yeah, it's yeah. just a nice day, so people are out. People are out, yeah. yeah. Thank you. 
Starting off with some tecate beer. Got to when you're in Mexico. Hey, Luis, Baja California, baby. Oh, yeah. Mexico. Salud. You can tell the salsa is freshly done. You can see the bits of jalapeno, so we'll see how spicy it is. And you can see, look at these chips. They're beautiful. Again, freshly done. Let's take a little bit of the salsa. Hopefully it's not too spicy. Yeah, that's what the beer is for, babe. Yep, yeah, that's true. That looks good right there. <laughs> Chips, incredibly fresh. They're not seasoned at all, but doesn't need to be. That really good corn flavor comes out in the chips. The salsa on the first bite, not too much, but I, this is the one that if you keep on eating and eating, you know, <coughs> the heat sneaks up to you. That's why we have the beer. Salsa and beer in Baja California, Mexico. Um, Ensenada, this is the way. This is the way. Wow, some salsa grand yeah, I'm waiting for it to start back up next month. The chicken is the highlight of this meal, but they brought out some fresh tortillas. That's the one so Lady was making. They're super hot. I have to grab a tortilla. You can see they're steaming. I have to. This is what you have to do. Roll it up. Deep it in my beans. Look. Mm. Nothing like fresh tortillas. The beans are perfectly done. Everything here is house made. Get that rice and that really soft and very corny, corny, I said corny, tortillas. Mm. Delicious. This is the roasted chicken. They come with usually fries, but I wanted the rice and beans instead. This is super hot. It's most likely off of that rotisserie. Let's get a little piece. It's hard to hold because it's super hot and super fresh. There we go. Oh wow. Perfectly cooked. So juicy. I took out my bone. I may have one more bone in here. But I'm gonna stick it in my tortilla. There's my bite. Hand and tomato. <laughs> This place is a must. The food is super fresh. It's in downtown, and the prices are super reasonable. This is a must, too. Yeah, this is a half a chicken. Half a chicken. Though, right? mm. 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 So good. How juicy and hot this chicken is. Fresh off of that rotisserie. Wow, it doesn't need any more seasoning. This is a super fresh chicken. The skin alone is seasoned enough. Mm. I got the chicken quesadilla. It comes with rice and beans. So you get two of them here. It's, this has been like sitting here for a while because I was filming yours, but it's still super hot. Wow. Look at the steam coming out. Really, really hot. So let's take a bite of it. It's gonna be hot. This is obviously the same rotisserie chicken that you have, like a half chicken order, because the chicken itself is full of flavor. Nice roasted flavor to it, especially the chicken skin on it. This cheese is also nice Mexican cheese flavor. Next uh, mile yeah. time. Yeah, I don't know what kind of cheese it is, but it's like a white cheese. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Excellent lunch. Excellent lunch. Fresh tortillas. The the chicken was made just right here on the rotisserie. So good. Yeah, I tasted the, the chicken and the skin and yeah. that thing is delicious. Yeah, it's 
highly recommend it. Again, here in downtown, uh, the meal was 350 pesos, which we figured out about 17, a little bit over 17 dollars. If you don't have pesos, they also convert it into US dollars, which is their conversion rate, which is around 19 dollars for the meal. Nevertheless, a great meal, two beers, two full lunches. Oh yeah. Now we gotta I'm, go work it out. I'm good to go until back on the ship for dinner time. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. so good out here. Sorry it's, it's a little windy. We didn't bring our mics with us because we want to let you guys hear what's going on in the city. Yeah, so sorry about the wind. Yeah. Um, if it's windy on the boat, we'll use them on the boat. You got something in your lip. Thank you, Some baby. leftover chicken. We usually go inside Papa's and Beer, but I think we'll skip it this time. Yep, it's completely toned down from before, you know, of the of the pouring the liquor in the mouth and shaking the girl or guy upside down. Yeah. Completely toned down. When you go inside, you have to sanitize, mask up, just a lot of loud music, and uh, we're going to skip it. But that's what's going on here, and the store is Papa's and Beer store, and who's on store? The one we usually walk into to get the merchandise, and it's closed. Yeah. So we don't know if it's gonna, if it's just closed today, but it's closed for right now. Yep. Okay, let's go walk around, babe. Let's see you. Hey, I think we found something new. Yep. We're gonna try this churro place. It's called I don't remember. It has cafe, churros, and roast patarias. It's a uh, la churreria. Oh, la churreria. Let's go try it, babe. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, we've never been to Mexico City yet. We hope to one day. Until then, we're trying to duplicate what they offer over there from all the videos that we've seen. So we have some homemade churros. Look how nice that looks. This looks much different than like the Disneyland Tio Pepe's one that you buy. Um, these are definitely hot. They just fry these up. And of course, we have some Mexican hot chocolate. We already drank some and it has a tiny bit of spice to it but in, in a good way, just a tiny bit of chocolate spice. So, you know, I'm just gonna go straight in for the dunk. So let's go for that dunk. Oh, look at that. That's like Instagram right there. Mm -hmm. Hot. <clears throat> Those hot, but it's very good. It's a lot more thicker and more dense than like the uh, Disneyland churro. But I love the cinnamon and sugar on the outside of it. And it gives that nice uh, chocolate flavor just because uh, I, I dunked it. But yeah, this is a perfect dessert from our chicken lunch earlier. Yeah, this, this will work for sure. Dunk. I went for the deep Dunk, baby. Whoa, that's, I did it all in. That's pretty deep, baby. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. This coffee <clears throat> is definitely spiced. Like that. Hmm. Not quite like abuelita. It tastes like abuelita, but it tastes more homemade. Delicious. And these churros, perfectly cinnamon, sugar. Hot. Inside is fluffy. It is a little dense, but it gives it more of a flavor, easier to chew, crunchy. This is delicious. Oh, and they gave us some the raspberry. Yeah. Different looking, huh? Let's try that out. raspberry. It tastes exactly like raspberry. This is good. Now uh, the mugs that they serve our hot chocolates in, we like this so much that we bought a couple to go in here. Yeah, the 
will be great souvenirs. Mm -hmm. And you know, they brought these out, oh my gosh, like 20 minutes ago, and it is still hot. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, great insulating yeah, mugs. Mm -hmm. The churro place that we just went to is only about maybe 50 feet away from the main drag right here. That's the main area. Yeah, so it's really just barely off the main street. It is. It was good. Yeah, so good. We, we got our uh, ceramic mugs. We did. Or those clay potted uh -huh. mugs. That's what they uh -huh. are. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to head back to the ship. Yep. So we got more information on Holland America. Yeah, sorry it's a little bit windy out here. But Holland America is during the refurbishment here, so it doesn't have any passengers. We're saying that the Miracle, this is the first one in Ensenada. Yeah. yeah. So there it is, Holland America. Party. Drink time. Drink time. Red Caribbean Colada. Cheers, babe. So the miniature golf is up here in the very top deck. Yep, it's still here. It's up in the front of the ship. Miniature golf and basketball. Yeah, full court. Uh, well, half a court. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the other side of the court. So the miniature golf goes actually all the way around. It's like eight holes or something. Yeah, onto this side. And this is the jogging track or walking track. We're at the, the bow of the ship. Yeah, we're supposed to test out the mics from here, but we didn't bring... We have the mics back in our room. Yeah, but so, we'll test it out tomorrow during we sea day when we're moving. Yep. So this is what it sounds like with, uh, with no windsock mic. It's beautiful out here, though. Oh, yeah. It's dinner time. It's dining room time. Yes. So we have our butter. Today, we just left Ensenada. So we have our butter here. And this is bacon pan drippings. Yeah, that's one of yeah, the dipping choices mm -hmm. here. Oh, thank you. When they bring out the table side bread, they offer you like butter or balsamic and uh, olive oil. Mm -hmm. Or the third choice are bacon drippings. That's the first. So I got a piece of bread ready. Try this out. It looks looks pretty good. You see small pieces of bacon bits in it. I taste the um, actual essence of bacon in it. So, but it's not over overpowering or over salt salty. It just has a nice flavor of bacon. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's not super healthy for you, but it just tastes good. Thought we try it. Yeah, have to try it. I got the uh, baked meatballs for my appetizer. Three little meatballs. So it has some uh, mozzarella cheese, a little bit of, um, I guess, tomato sauce on it. Let's try it out. Oh, very cheesy. Look at that. That's a good meatball. You got fries. It seems to be like a trend that a lot of the meat is kind of mushy, kind of over tenderized, right? You know what I'm about? But this meatball has that nice ground beef bite to it. So yeah, these are these are actually legit ground beef meatballs. I like it. And, you know, the, the sauce that it's in is not too tangy. And that mozzarella cheese is great. Look at that. I yeah, highly recommend these sweet balls. This is the Tuscan minestrone soup. You know, I have to get soup since I'm a soupy person. Really good. 
veggies to not salting at all. It doesn't taste too heavy in the um, veggie soup category. It tastes like a very good, very good watered down tomato soup. A very good one though. Very well seasoned watered down tomato soup with them um, with elbow noodles and veggies. Would you recommend it? Uh, yeah. This one is really simple soup. I'd recommend this one. Tuscan minestrone. Shrimp cocktail. What we like, what I like about all of these appetizer sizes, they're really small. So this is the shrimp cocktail. Gives you five little pieces of little shrimpies. Has your cocktail sauce and then some sort of cream. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a, like a ranch. So dip that shrimp cocktail with both of that cocktail sauce and that ranch. Perfect. Perfect to share. Yeah. It's good. Now, hot sauce isn't spicy at all. And this little ranch, that's a good little mixture. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the shrimp is good. It tastes like just like shrimp. This is the braised short rib. Short rib? Yeah. Braised tenderloin. I like it. Braised tenderloin. It looks really good. Let's try this out here. Okay, it's a good cut, not super tender because we've known what happens when they're super tender. Mm. This tastes like the bite of beef that you expect when you try to get beef. Very good tasting. It's um, braised. I think braising tenderloin. I think it's a little, usually a little bit softer, but. This is actually a good piece of beef. I like it. It's uh, perfectly seasoned. They don't ask you how you want it, medium rare, medium or anything like that. This comes one way. It's good. I got these southern fried chicken. How good Carnival is going to do their fried chicken? Your guess is good as mine. This is the first time I've ever having it on a cruise ship. It's kind of small. If you can see where the drumstick is, this is a thigh. Look how baby it is. Where is his mama? I don't know. So let's um, let's just go in for a bite. First thing that pops in my head. First thing, supermarket fried chicken. Well, it's not saying that's bad. There's a, there's a place for it. I like supermarket fried chicken. Yeah. If you're going on a picnic, get some of the chicken, potato salad, right? Um, yeah, not too much flavor in the seasoning of the batter, very light, but it is crunchy. This is the double roasted pineapple, no sugar added. Doesn't need any sugar, I don't think, because pineapple normally is sweet after it's roasted, grilled, or anything like that. And it's a, has a little bit of a cream, the whipped cream I've already tasted, and it doesn't have any sweetness to it at all. Am I talking really fast? Okay, so anyways. Mmm. Yep. Pineapple is naturally sweet. They gave me little cookies as well. Just regular little cookies. Tastes a little kind of stale. So, I don't need the cookies in here. Put those aside. This a little bit of cream with this pineapple is all you need. I did my usual four scoops of ice cream. I asked them initially to put on my drizzle of chocolate and they forgot. So I was about to have a really bad night, but then the <laughs> server brought this. He hooked it up, right? So let's just do it. Slow mode action activated. For all four. Just enough chocolate for all four, huh, baby? Yep, just enough. You know, I don't ask for the world when I order dessert. Something very simple. So I was kind of bummed when they brought it without the chocolate syrup. But all is good now. Let's give it a try. The dining room is the only place to get real ice cream. Because um, on the Lido buffet, it's only the soft serve machine. So if you want ice cream, you got to come to the dining rooms.
And for this, it's worth it. Which is your favorite ice cream, babe? Out of all of them, I like the butter pecan. I know why. Because it's got nuts. I love nuts. I really do. So we got through with dinner, and it yeah. was it was good. It was good. Yeah, it was yeah. good. I liked it. I think it was better than the Lido yesterday. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. Mm -hmm. So now we got our coffee. Got my cappuccino. Yeah, I got my usual, which is a hot chocolate with a little hint of alcohol in there. Mm. So we are outside Skybox, and we're just watching the Dodger game again. Yep, and the, what you hear people singing, tonight is karaoke night at the Red Frog. Yeah. So he'll get some of that. I that's, will? That's what you hear the singing right now. Summer dreams ripped at the seams, but I'm Sponsored by Crocs, but we just want to let you know that these are like uber comfortable. These are with the little fur inside, mm -hmm. and we have the little charms. You have a little coffee and a cookie, and of course, I have a little pizza and a beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, and they're stylish with my white socks on too. Mm -hmm. That is the rep for day three and yeah. Sonata Day. We are tired. Yeah. yeah. There's just, no, there's no energy because the Dodgers are getting whipped right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, that too. Yeah. But um, there's a lot of stuff that's going on tonight, and we didn't want it to be a 50-minute video. So we're going to add it on until tomorrow's video, baby. Yeah, yeah. There'll okay. be plenty to do tomorrow because it's a sea yeah. day. Uh -huh. That means that the uh, ship is not docking anywhere. Right. Just be floating around. Right, and so there's a lot of stuff to do. We didn't have even gambled yet. Um, we're going to an art auction tomorrow. There's a lot of trivia going on. There's a lot of stuff at the Lido Deck going on. Still karaoke is going on tonight. I mean, a lot of stuff going on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, too much to do for the rest of the day, it but is. we'll save it for tomorrow. We will. Shout out. Um, Grace, happy 14th birthday. Granola from Baltimore, happy birthday. Michael and Pam. Ford, happy birthday. Leonard, happy birthday. Richard Moreno, on Amtrak train conductor. Thank you so much for watching. And Dalton Castle, thank you so much for watching. All right, a lot of birthday wishes oh. and uh, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and we saw uh, people here on the ship recognized us. So thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, thanks for saying hi. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's All it right. baby. Well, that's it for tonight and uh, that's it for day three. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, one full day left. Mm -hmm. Until then, catch you on the next one.